Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel where we heal holistically through guided journaling. In all of our guided journals, we use visualization as a part of expanding our minds and discover the core of our transformational possibilities. Now this past weekend, I actually had to go to the hospital for a routine MRI and on the form you have to say if you are claustrophobic or not. I didn't think I was, so I think, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. And suddenly when I was strapped in and I had to go into the machine, I felt extremely claustrophobic. So having been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder about 16 years ago, I have had extensive experience in how to heal from traumatic experiences. And um, that is actually the reason why we created these guided journals, so that you can heal from whatever life experience is causing you trauma, death, infertility, cancer, divorce, professional caregivers. So from my research, the extensive research that we did, claustrophobia is a form of anxiety. In the DSM now five, it is actually classified as an anxiety disorder. So, and this also starts in childhood or adolescence. Now there are some genetic factors that they are speculating about. There hasn't been actual definitive scientific evidence, although you are more likely to have it if one of your parents have claustrophobia. And in my case, I actually think that my claustrophobia was triggered by my past experience and where the post-traumatic stress disorder came from. The idea that I cannot escape my circumstances. It's so interesting, right? Like how our body and our minds connect. Now, all of these disorders or all of the anxiety can be triggered by a confined space. And what actually physically happens to you is your mind starts overthinking that you cannot escape. And then you feel like you have a lack of oxygen which in an MRI machine isn't really true. It's a room full of oxygen and it's actually quite cold in there, so it keeps you quite awake. And it can just be so restricted. And the other part of this anxiety is that you can, if you've had an MRI before, or even if you haven't, you are anxious about the procedure, which then increases the anxiety level before you even start getting there. So in your mind, you're already at a foundation and a platform of anxiety. And now add past triggers to that, add the claustrophobic anxiety disorder, then the anxiety level is absolutely sky high. And whatever our minds think, our bodies react to. Now there are many ways that you can overcome claustrophobia or some of the anxiety disorders. And one of the first things is um, cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT. There's also drug therapy and relaxation and visualization exercises. Our approach to healing is always to take the natural parts first. We are not opposed to drug use. However, if we can find out what the core triggers are and we can deal with it, rather than just subduing it or making it less intense, if we work through it, we actually free ourselves from this anxiety that is within us. Whereas if we sort of just band-aid the solution, the wounds will still be a part of us. So we'll never truly be healed or free. Now these are intense therapies that you might need in order to fully release. Because let's face it, the fear and the anxiety, it doesn't really serve you. It keeps you very 
ironically, contained in your fear. And it prevents you from living that life without fear. If you believe that you are a holistic being, and like we said previously, whatever our mind thinks, our body will react to. And this is sometimes hard for people who do not have anxiety disorders to understand. You cannot simply just get over it or face your fears head on or just will your way through it. It doesn't work like that. And with all our teachings, we suggest that our emotions are all valid and it is trying to give us a message. So the fear that you're feeling, the anxiety that creeps up, is based in some part of yourself that still needs to be healed. If you are actually dealing with loss and grief or cancer or divorce or any of that, this is why we created those guided journals, so that you can holistically heal and then when you get to these additional residual energies like the anxiety disorder and the claustrophobia, then you've already laid the foundation. Now, while I was in the MRI machine, honestly, it took all of my mental energy to not ring that emergency button like seven times. It was rough. So when I was in there, I was laying down and I thought of myself, okay, so this is a 30 minute exam, which means it's going to take a while to do. So I need to figure this out. I could press the emergency button, but that just means I have to come back or that it is going to take even longer. And having done intense therapy for my post-traumatic stress disorder, and writing all these beautiful journals and helping people overcome these very trying life challenges. Visualizations is so big a part of just my life and who I am. I thought, you know what, this is the perfect opportunity. The divine guidance in the universe is telling me I'm in this MRI machine for a reason. I seriously need to just figure out how to visualize and to bring my anxiety level down from 100, trying to push that button, to just a normal, neutral plateau. In this video, in the description, there will be a timestamp, so you can just click on the visualization, and we really suggest that you integrate this visualization, so listen to it over and over and over again. For example, if you know that you have an upcoming MRI or something that could potentially be a trigger for your claustrophobia, go through this visualization like twice a day. Because what we're trying to create is to retrain your brain so that when you are aware of the trigger, the fear sets in, you can automatically revert back to your happy place or your neutral level. And that already starts by preparing your mind. And I promise the more that you do this, the quicker you will get there. That is like any healing that is true core transformative healing is the more we practice it and the more it becomes a lifestyle the easier it actually gets. So in the description below is the timestamp. So if you're watching this video for the second or third time, just click on the timestamp and it'll take you directly to the visualization. Because we heal holistically through guided journaling, I would like to suggest that you take your journal and a pen and before you start the visualization, Write down what you think your core anxiety triggers are. If you're having a hard time with that, find a person you trust and say, can you give me some ideas what you've observed when I get this anxious or when 
I feel like I'm triggered. People who are close to you and who really support you know you really well and sometimes it's easier for them to tell you in a non-judgmental, loving and caring way to say, listen, I can see that every time that we talk about this person, there's a change. Or if I mention this event, your body tenses up. This is what I've noticed. Absolutely intense therapy. It also depends on your scale of anxiety, right? All of these are tools and resources for you to become aware and to work through it. So journal down what you think the core of your anxiety is. And remember, it's non-judgmental. It could be rational fears, irrational fears. It doesn't matter. The point is that you are becoming aware and you are bringing those triggers and those emotions to the surface so that you can journal through it and become released from the fear and the anxiety. Our visualization will begin. However, if you would like to take the first look of this video and watch the images, it might help you to expand your own imagination, to open up your mind, to become aligned with your core self. In subsequent viewings of this video, feel free to close your eyes and let your own thoughts take over. Whatever works for you. The visualization will now begin. Find a comfortable spot clear from distractions. Focus on your breathing. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Bring attention to your jaw and physically relax the muscles. Drop your tongue to the bottom of your mouth. Release your shoulders to their natural position. One more deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Planet Earth makes its home in a solar system located in the outskirts of the Milky Way. This spiral galaxy contains billions of stars, stars of all different ages, colors, as well as glowing reasons of star births. Surrounding the system is a great vast halo of dark matter that holds up most of the galaxy's mass. On your back is an oxygen tank filled to the top. In your mind's eye, become aware of the weightlessness of outer space. Focus your attention on the expanse and emptiness of the galaxy. Let your mind wander into the greatness of endless space. Take a deep breath in from your oxygen tank and release. One more breath in from your oxygen tank. Feel the molecules fill up your whole body with healing and nurturing energy from your head 
to your lungs, to your stomach, all the way through your fingers and down to your toes. Exhale any residual energy that weighs you down. One more breath in. And exhale the weight. As we travel through space, you feel a warm embrace from the rays of the sun as you continue your travel. The sun is the closest star to the earth and this hot ball of glowing ionized gases is made up of mostly hydrogen and helium. The sun's most outer layer extends for millions of miles. Almost 99% of the mass of the human body is made up of six elements. Oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, and phosphorus. Float backwards for a moment and see all the stars that surround you. The compounds that make up the stars are the same that make up our human bodies. In the distance, you can see a dazzling bright light. Notice the spectacular energy that radiates from these stars. Observe their different colors. Nova and supernova are stars that suddenly become dazzlingly bright. Some nova can radiate glowingly over the course of a few hours or days. Many go through cycles of brightening and dimming. Observe. Some supernova become red supergiants whose stable cores grow extremely dense. And when the core no longer generates energy, it collapses and material from the star's outer shell rushes towards the core and rebounds into a massive explosion of light and energy. Witness this magnificent power as the energy released from the supernova can outshine an entire galaxy for weeks. Bring this incredible energy and experience on how you have witnessed power in the universe Bring the light and the energy into your body and into your mind. Slowly become aware of your physical surroundings. Reconnect your mind with your body by breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Feel the surrounding light fill your mind and your whole body. Focus on your jaw and keep it in this relaxed state. Roll your shoulders and wiggle your fingers and toes. Thank the galaxy 
for its incredible enlightenment. Thank your body for receiving this powerful energy. Breathe naturally as you slowly open your eyes. This is the end of the visualization. Come back to it as many times as you need. Thank you so much for joining us and for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, share it on your social feed. You never know what people are dealing with and you can help them on their own self-improvement journeys as you increase your self-improvement lifestyle. Be sure to check out our other videos and on a monthly basis, we do a journaling challenge so that we can all transform into the beautiful, holistic, healed human beings. Keep journaling and keep growing.